What's up guys, we're here at Lakeshore V. We're gonna tour a brand new 2024 Gray Wolf 26 DJ SE. This 29 foot six inch travel trailer has zero slides. That's gonna make it more lightweight with a total GVWR of 7,574 pounds and a dry weight of 4,596 pounds. Your fresh tank is gonna hold 40 gallons, your gray tank 38 and your black tank 28. The connections to your water are right here. Above that, you're gonna find your outdoor shower. To the right of that, you see your black tank flush. And then down below is where it's actually gonna empty out that's where you hook up your hose next to that you see we got a stabilizer jack there's four of those suckers two in the front two in the back we also have this rack back here for extra storage there's your spare tire mounted right up there at the very top you see we got a backup camera that also doubles as a security camera and then to the right you have a mount for a ladder back around on the campsite you see we got the storage in the rear you're gonna want to keep that locked because it does access the rest of the camper you'll get a better view of that once we're inside real nice big windows out on the campsite here we got a couple of outdoor speakers underneath our nice big awning between these speakers and below our window we can actually mount a tv that's going to be the same mount that's inside our pass-through storage is up front here just kidding it's not a pass-through it's just a regular underneath storage Still spacious for the size of the camper. Here's your power cable. Up here is your 30 amp solar charge controller. And then right here in the very front, we got our power tongue jack, LED light on that sucker. Very convenient. Can't forget we do have an LP hookup down here so we can set up the barbecue. Your two LP tanks are gonna be right up front. 60 pounds total up here. Let's check out the inside of this bad boy. I got the AC cranking right now because it is hot as frig outside. Wowie zowie, that's a solid bunkhouse. I'm actually gonna turn that down because I can't hear anything. Okay, you just have to you have to hold it down to turn it off. But you hear, you can hear how powerful that thing is. You can see it has heat too. Pretty awesome. Well, we're looking up here. Might as well go through the little control panel. Here we obviously got our light, water pump, tank heaters, and then uh, and then this here is to extend your awning. This is my first time going inside this floor plan. The biggest thing I'm noticing is a lot of people in a little camper. Uh, the very front, we actually have a curtain here. Behind it, we have our main bed. This is a queen. You see we got the mirrored wardrobes on either side of this thing. Hang your clothes in there. Up top, we got more storage. And like always, we have more storage below. And that's gonna access the outdoor storage I mentioned earlier. To the right of your bed, you got your inverter. To the left is just a regular hot light. You got your USB port and the USB-C. Directly in front of our bed, you see we got this jackknife sofa. By daytime, it's just a regular old sofa. But by night, it's a, it's a beautiful bed for one to two. These armrests do come out. I would only use that for a pillow if you're really in a bind, like it would work, but I'd probably just get rid of those and use a regular pillow. Moving on into the kitchen. Wowie zowie, what a wonderful kitchen. We got the farmhouse style sink here. That thing is undermount, makes it real easy to wipe the crumbs into. We got a cutting board cover over our sink that works for many things, such as cutting. You can cut numerous things with this, uh, fruits, vegetables, meats, breads. What else we got in here? We got a little rinsing tray for rinsing items. We got a roly poly dish drying rack. And then we got another rinsing tray for rinsing other items. So you know, we can cut our fruits and vegetables, separate them into bins and put some. It's a neat honeycomb pattern we got on our sink here. Very fun. There goes Will, busy man. Uh, detachable faucet on this thing. Handy for doing the dishes. And then you got this cup cleaner outer sprayer thing. Psh, feel like a bartender from the comfort of your own camper. Can't forget the uh, soap or hand sanitizer dispenser. Super sick. Here's your three burner gas stove. Below that you got your stainless steel air fryer and microwave combo. To the left of that, we got the double-sided refrigerator. Pull to open here. Nice, cool. Or pull to open here. That way I can retrieve my beverages or my hot dogs from the bunks or from the rest of the camper. The freezer is a drawer, so you got equal access to that from both sides as well. Dual swing fridge is pretty gnarly. This thing is 10.7 cubic feet. Right below the refrigerator, you're gonna find your fuse box and your battery disconnect switch. If you're powered from your battery, you can turn that off, the whole camper will power down. And then here's our fuse box, good old regular fuse box. Across, you got a boot dinette. I love me a boot dinette, especially in a camper, because these always convert into sleepers. Holy guacamole, now you got a nice double bed here. I would argue this is the second best bed in this joint. Obviously getting uh, outranked by number one up front. On the ceiling, we have some speakers. Uh, right here, we got a subwoofer, driven subwoofer. Oops. 
Those are gonna be operated by this sound system here. And that is gonna operate the speakers outside. Right here, your indoor TV mount. And then behind that, you see we got the double over double bunks. These things are spacious, surprisingly comfy. Definitely a fun little cove area for the kids. They each got their own pop light and then they each got their own USB and USB-C port on the wall. Emergency exit on that lower bunk. And then here's that storage I was talking about earlier. If the kids are being naughty, you can stuff them down here for timeout. Otherwise, it's just a great storage area. Good to know where it is though. Lastly, the back right of the camper, we got the bathroom. Pop that light on. We got a foot flush toilet down below. Little vanity here. Most bathrooms have that. Shuts out Trent the Realtor on TikTok. That's his line. Little tub here. Wouldn't recommend using that for full grown adults. It's tiny. But that is great for babies or if you're like washing the dog. Otherwise, it's just a nice little standing shower. Definitely beats having a corner standing shower. Real good size skylight in this one. Hit me up if you got any questions on this camper. The phone number is right here. The website is right here. We're located at 4500 East Apple Avenue, Muskegon, Michigan. Stop in, we ship nationwide. Ship worldwide, actually. Pretty much, pretty much everywhere in the world.